Black Eagle Mine Road is located in the southern part of Joshua Tree National Park. It is best access from Route 10. Be sure to check in at the Cottonwood Visitor Center to pay the fee for the park and to make sure the road is open. The road starts six and a half miles north of the Visitor Center. Black Eagle Mountain Road runs along the edge of the Pinnell Basin and crosses several dry washes and then winds through the canyons in the Eagle Mountains. The first six plus miles of the road are within the park boundary and not too difficult. They are also downhill. The road gets more difficult as we reach the foothills of the Black Mountains. This is the big wash at the eight mile mark. There is no cell phone reception, so never go down this trail unless you're sure you can get back up. About two and a half miles from the wash near the end of the park is a jade claim. In 1940, Barry Storm was looking for some gold when he found jade. He convinced the mine was the source of the Mayan jade. It wasn't. We explored another old mine a few miles up the road and out of the park, the Rainbow End Mine. There are several mines in the area and they are listed on most maps. A lot of mineralization in the rocks. A few miles up from the Rainbow End Mine and over a very rocky road is the Black Eagle Gold Mine. We worked our way up the rocky road and finally decided to park because we heard that the road was blocked by a large boulder. It was. It looked like someone had tried to go around the boulder and left some parts of their car on the rocks. There's no point in going around it because the road ends up ahead. We hiked the last half mile. Over the hill, we came upon the remains of the Black Eagle Gold Mine's tailing piles. If you continue down the road a short way, you can climb up and get a good view of the Kaiser Steel Eagle Mountain Iron Mine. It's now closed. For more information on this area, click on the links below this video.